All right, y'all, come on in this kitchen. We're going to make a pink cerita uh, with some um, tequila, pink lemonade, and triple sack, and a lime. But right now, we're going to get into this homemade salsa. So, y'all, what I have here is two cans of Rotel. It is the diced tomatoes and green chilies. And I chose these two because it already has the cilantro in it. We're going to add some crushed red pepper, salt and pepper. We're going to do some fresh lime juice. I have a half of a chopped bell pepper. I have four, I think it was four cloves of diced garlic, fresh garlic. And then I did a half of a yellow onion. And what we're going to do here, we're going to pulse it in this blender until we get it to the right consistency. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Y'all ready? Let's get ready, y'all. Okay, y'all, so what I'm gonna do for first, I'm gonna do these chopped veggies first and kind of get them a little smaller and then we're gonna add in the um, diced tomatoes, okay? So let's get this in the blender. Can y'all see me? Do I need to bring it up some? There we go. We're going to put in the green bell pepper. Garlic and then the yellow onion. You can add any color onion that you like. This is what all I had on hand. I normally would do a red onion, but I do not have a red onion, and I, I, I didn't want to run to the store. So there you have it. You're going to get them in there. You're going to pulse them just a little bit because you want to break them up. Now, with this Rotel, do drain it. You do not want no super wet um, salsa, y'all. Okay? So let's see. We're going to break those down here. Okay, y'all, that is about the size that I want them. And, of course, they make their own juices as well. Do y'all see that? That's how you want them before you add in your tomato. So, once again, it is Rotel. It already is diced, and it has green chilies um, in it. And also, it does have cilantro already in there. So, let's get that in there. All of it. Let's get this in here. Two cans, y'all. Or you can use regular uh, diced tomatoes if you like and add in your own fresh cilantro or what have you. It's your choice how you want to make it. I'm going to squeeze in some lime juice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put in just a little of black pepper, maybe a half a teaspoon, y'all. Be careful with the black pepper. Um, I'm going to put in a fourth of a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. And I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Let's give that a pulse. And get it to the consistency. But you know, how about y'all we add in a couple of my sweet and spicy uh, jalapenos that I love. How about we do that? Okay, let's do it. Well, let's, we won't chop them up a little bit though because they huge. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, I think that's too many, y'all. We better be careful with all that heat. Cause we already got them uh, them pepper flakes up in there. So, y'all, let's just roughly chop uh, this uh, jalapeno just a bit, y'all. Because we're going to pulse it in there as well. Woo. 
this is gonna be so good, y'all. And then I'm gonna refrigerate it and I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of hours so everything can get married together in here, y'all. So, yeah. Let's do it again. Y'all ready? Let's go. We're going to pulse it, y'all, a little bit at a time. Shake it as you go. Because you really don't want no super fine salsa. So what you like, and if you like chalky, do it less. If you kind of like the liquefied, do it. So we are done. I want to get a spoon and taste this, just in case I have to add in some uh, more pepper or something. But it sure looks good, y'all. I want. <clears throat> oh, it's oh, y'all, it's spicy. I don't want anything else. That's perfect. I don't want anything else, y'all. That is bomb. Oh, that flavor is awesome. So, y'all, here we go. We're going to pour that in there. Oh, y'all. Y'all got to see this. Oh yeah, that's going to be so good. Y'all, this is the salsa. We're going to get this in the refrigerator. We're going to let it get cold and marry. Oh my goodness, y'all. Ain't that wonderful? Yes. Okay, y'all, let's make this pink senorita. I have already added one fourth cup of fresh lemon juice, a half a cup of um, orange liqueur. Can y'all see it? I've added also a half a cup of Grain Moyet. I'm about to add in two and one fourth cup of pink lemonade and this simply is what I have I need two and one fourth cups of this And I'm going to need one cup of tequila. And this is what we have. So let's get that open. And we're going to add one cup of tequila. All right, y'all. This is called the Pink Senorita. I'm going to get a spoon and we're going to get that stirred. And of course, you can salt your rim if you like. I'm going to put some tahini around my rim, of course. Oh, y'all, that smells so strong. Goodness gracious. I know I have some tahini up here. Yes, 
course I sure do. I'm going to actually put some tahine around my glass. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I have put the tahine around my glass. Now let's pour in some of this goodness so we can give it a taste. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Let's give it a taste. Oh, Lord, that smells strong. I want y'all to see this. Y'all. Okay, because I'm not a tequila drinker. Y'all know I drink my vodka. So cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Let's give this a taste. Oh, goodness, that's good. And that tahini with that salt. Oh, y'all, cheers. That is so good. Oh, my. You know what the hell? We ain't got but a corner. Let's add that in there. <laughs> so, the whole bottle, y'all. <laughs> It's not big though. Mm. That's delicious, y'all. I might have to keep that on the menu. Okay, y'all. So, salut, salut. Let's sip this good hood stuff. This uh, once again is called Pink Senior Rita. That's good. See y'all later.